Today we're going to find all natural numbers n such that n factorial plus n plus 1 factorial plus n plus 2 factorial is a perfect square. So I encourage you to try this on your own or you can just watch me solve it. Okay, so let's start by factoring out an n factorial from each of these terms. So really what we want to find is when n factorial times 1 plus n plus 1 plus n plus 1 times n plus 2 is a perfect square, right? These are the same. Factoring out an n factorial, that would give us n factorial. n factorial times n plus 1 is n plus 1 factorial. And n factorial times n plus 1 times n plus 2 is this term here. OK? And this is equal to n factorial times, well, n plus 2 plus n plus 1 times n plus 2. OK? And cleaning this up some more, we could factor out an n plus 2 from this term. And what's left over is a 1 plus n plus 1. Well, this is just n plus 2. So this summation here is equal to n factorial times n plus 2 squared. Right? So it's a lot easier to check when a product is a perfect square than a sum is a perfect square. That's why we did this first step. And n plus 2 squared is always a perfect square. So really, what we want to find is find all n such that n factorial is a perfect square. And if n factorial is a perfect square, then this sum is also a perfect square. OK, and in order to find this, we're going to use what's known as Bertrand's postulate. So let me write that down. OK, what's Bertrand's postulate? It says for k greater than 1, There exists a prime p such that k is less than p, which is less than 2k. So for all k greater than 1, and this is really amazing, there's a prime between k and 2k. OK, why are we going to use this? We're going we're gonna to use Bertrand's postulate, but instead of 2k, we'll sub in 2k equals n. So we could rewrite this as for n greater than 2, there's a prime between n over 2 and n. OK? And so if n factorial was a perfect square, then this prime p would div divide into it an even number of times. OK, so n factorial is equal to 1 times 2 times all the way up to n. OK? And we know that there's some prime p somewhere in this product. OK? And so if n factorial was a perfect square, then in fact we would be able to write it like this. Up to p, up to 2p, and then n. Right, Because that would say this prime p divides into n factorial twice, or an even number of times. But I'm going to show you that this is impossible. We know that p is between n over 2 and n. So multiplying this inequality by 2, we have n is less than 2p, which is less than 2n. But if n factorial was a perfect square, then we would have 2p is less than n. OK, so for n greater than 2, n factorial is not a perfect square. So the last thing we have to check is just n equals 0, n equals 1, and n equals 2. So for n equals 0, 0 factorial equals 1. That is a perfect square. And we could check that 0 factorial plus 1 factorial plus 2 factorial, which is 1 plus 1 plus 2, is also a perfect square. Okay? When n equals 1, 
one factorial is also equal to one, and you could check that one factorial plus two factorial plus three factorial, which is one plus two plus six, is also a perfect square. And then when n equals two, well, two factorial is equal to two, which is not a perfect square. And two factorial plus three factorial uh, plus four factorial also is not a perfect square. So the only time when n factorial plus n plus 1 factorial plus n plus 2 factorial is a perfect square is for n equals 0 and n equals 1. Pretty neat. Let me know what you think. And uh, let me know what you think about my cool uh, camouflage sweatshirt. All right. See you later.